guys, Sean T. Blackstone here. Today what we have for you guys is the Echo One Sock 68. So unboxing it, you're going to have obviously your Echo One box, some foam padding, and then you're going to have your gun itself, which is your pretty much your midget M16. Um, this is based on a real firearm as well. So inside the box you're going to have your Echo One warranty card, a 8.4 small type nunchuck, your standard wall charger of course, just regular old wall charger. And then as well, you're going to have a high cap magazine winder so that that way you don't have to just do it under the wheel itself. You can actually just wind it. And as well as a front side adjustment tool because everything is uh, adjustable as well. You do have an orange muzzle cap. And then as well, you do have a 190 round Vietnam style high cap. And then as well, a 300 round straight knife just to keep the Vietnam look going. Alright guys, now go over the externals of the gun, we'll start from the rear to the front. You have obviously, obviously a plastic stock. The one really unique thing about this, since this is a midget M16, um, the whole design of this gun is from the Vietnam era. Um, when they needed a special forces weapon for, well obviously the jungles and whatnot, they took your average M16 and shortened it down, but you also have an adjustable M16 style stock. Um, this is all obviously spring loaded as you can tell, and will lock into place as such. So you just simply turn the knob and then there you go. Um, does feature an M16 or of the era style grip with no uh, finger groove um, as well it does have the Vietnam obviously style magazine uh, the lower and upper receiver are plastic uh, the one cool thing about it though however is that it does have a full metal dust cover and charging stick with a we'll go into internals in a bit but obviously um, it's already reinforced uh, it does have a built-in carry handle so this is all one piece does have a metal delta ring and then as well a triangle plastic handguard. This thing is pretty solid though and does open from the side to put your battery inside. And then as well it does have a uh, front metal sight and a uh, metal outer barrel. And then as well you have your little bird cage style flash header which if you choose to subsequent that out to something else then you can do that. Um, that's going to go ahead and be all the externals though and then we'll go ahead and go into the internals. Alright guys, now with the internals of the gun, you're going to have a 280mm inner barrel. Uh, you'll get some distance out of it considering the length. And then as well, your rate of fire with an 8.4 battery, which is what is included. It's pretty decent. Um, you obviously could improve with a 9.6 to get about 14 uh, RPS. Obviously with an 8.4 it's an 11. And then with an 11.1 LiPo battery, you could get about 18 RPS. Now, your response would also improve as well. Uh, for your gearbox, you're going to have a reinforced version 2 with a long type motor. It is 8mm with steel gears. Uh, it does feature a polycarbonate hop up and maple orange bucking pre installed, if you can see that in there. And as well, you're going to have a polycarbonate piston and piston with a ported piston. Uh, so, obviously, you already got a lot of reinforced and upgraded parts in here. Um, if you're a smaller player, this is actually going to fit your profile really well. And then as well, if you're a collector or an reenactor, it's a really solid gun. So, I would definitely recommend it for anybody looking for that this particular style gun. Um, so for future reviews and anything else, uh, make sure you guys stay tuned. Um, so this has been the Team Black Sheep review of the SOC 68, and as always, play hard, play safe.